was saying that this is not the act of a friend. This guy, this type of person, would take food from the mouths of your children. <laughs> Arthur is starting to sound personal now. Kevin was saying this one time. Leave my son out of this. Hey, you out of pocket, man. Stay in your lane. This is family business. I'm just saying, you know think about how much power he has over the city. And plus, his family been a part of the fellowship since the 1930s. Well, not anymore. Arthur, what are you trying to say? The brother has helped us maintain the city, and he still does. Sounds like we're going to need some new blood to fill these positions in the community. Kev, call my office tomorrow. Tell Miss Watson to give you Marlon Black's number. Carl, what kind of shit you trying to pull? Marlon Black, the activist? Last year, I had to break up eight riots because of him. There's nothing he can do for us. But there he is. He's exactly what we need. He's our excuse for pushing Mancini out. It gives Kansas City a fresh start. Hmm. KC. Mob free. That sounds great for election year. That's absolutely brilliant, Carl. Simply brilliant. How long have I been up now? Well, we just got you off life support, and it's been a little over eight months now, and you've finally been able to breathe on your own. <sighs> Fuck. How's Gordy doing in the streets? I have a little bit of bad news about him. Mm. Well, what about Gordy? <laughs> well, I don't think there's any easier way to break it to you, but the money's gone. <laughs> what? The money's gone. We, we spent it. We, we spent it on the health expenses to keep you alive. Shit, I even had to steal some shit to keep you alive, too. And bring it home. We just, we can't afford anything right now. And we spent the money to keep you here. What the fuck? Gordy should be doing fucking better. But it's nearly impossible because... Weddle, he's gaining on us. He's gaining on the territory. Weddle? Yeah. 